So today I have with me a very, very uh, renowned ophthalmologist, but I would say more than that, he's a super, super dear friend of mine and it's none other than Dr. Saurabh. So hi Dr. Saurabh, it is such a pleasure to be sitting right next to you and getting this opportunity to have a not so very formal talk with you today. Hi, thank you very much for the opportunity ma'am. And uh, Saurabh is a very, very renowned ophthalmologist and he's a very learned man and has been teaching for so many years with us and he's done his MD from Ames and I think agar kisi ko ek journey jaanne ho as you know, um, he's teaching MBBS graduates also, he is teaching MD students also, he is doing his clinical work also, he is doing everything that we want to know about ophthalmology. So, Dr. Saurabh, where do we start? I think we uh, go stepwise and tell me first of all, what makes you, uh, you know, um, take ophthalmology or rather in your journey as an ophthalmologist, what is the most memorable moment just that you think that I'm glad I took this branch? Okay, uh, ma'am, uh, when uh, we were in MBBS uh, at that time, many, many years back, so, in MBBS, I didn't think so much at that time that I should take a field or not. I didn't think so much at that time. I didn't think so much at But I was clear on my mind that uh, surgical or medical. So, my was inclination towards surgery. Right. So, I always say to these students that if there is a lot of confusion, hmm. that should be confusion after the seat. You should think in MBBS that you want a surgical field or a medical field. Right. There should be a distinction between them. Because before that, हमारे पास इतना एक्सपोजर नहीं है कि हम डिसाइड कर पाएं कि हम कौन सी फील्ड लेते हैं बहुत प्रिसाइसली सो माइंड वाज लाइक दैट मैंने ये सोचा था कि सर्जिकल फील्ड चाहिए बट ऑफथल वाज नॉट द फर्स्ट चॉइस यस टू बी फ्रैंक द रैंक वाज लाइक दैट उस टाइम पे एम्स ओनली दिल्ली वाज देयर एंड एक एग्जाम होता था द रैंक माय रैंक वाज 47 एंड आई वाज थिंकिंग ऑफ जॉइनिंग सर्जरी बट सर्जरी और सॉरी ऑर्थोपेडिक्स बट ऑर्थोपेडिक्स उस टाइम पे नहीं मिला and uh, rest branches jo surgical mein thi wo mil rahe the mujhe so next uh, ek option tha neurosurgery ka for integrated course usme surgery mein aur ophthal mein thoda mere ko uh, confusion tha so thinking of that time as an end branch ki 3 years mein we, it will be done so i chose with that but uh, aisa nahi hai 3 years ke baad <laughs> now uh, fellowships are required senior residency is required so that you can, uh, I mean, specialize in a specific field. Right. It's not like that. Some people do private practice karke in their own town. They are doing very good. Mm. Uh, but as you go, as you go up uh, in the residency, then you know what are the opportunities. Hai. They right. open up as we go on. So a simple thought is question. So uh, advice is that in the MBBS, surgical versus medical field, there is clarity. Hai. So I think that should be okay in MBBS time. That's fair enough and then that is very nicely put. Achha, ab, uh, retrograde mein agar soche, to, did we make the right choice? Uh, ma'am, right choice is uh, the word right choice. Apni branch, chai koi bhi branch ho, either anatomy or radiology should be preferred. Koi bhi ho. So it is the right choice. Chai, and you do good in that field, whatever field you choose, it is for lifetime and you try to give your best. That's so true. right choice is not the word which I put. I mean, it should be taken in the right direction, whatever field we choose. See, I told you he's a very learned man and his thinking is uh, I would say, very clear. Hai. And with that clear thinking, I think Saurabh, you are the right person to also talk about how should a third year student, when they are exposed to ophthalmology, yeah. ki kuch ko nahi milta, because they don't because I and we all yes. know that there's only so much that we can see. So, uh, as a third year student, how uh, can you keep inclination uh, towards this subject? Or how can you study it effectively? And how to uh, develop more interest in the branch as well? Yeah. So, uh, in the MBBS, uh, first and second year, uh, non-clinical subjects. Third year, we are exposed to the clinical subject. And the first clinical subjects we are exposed to is Ophthal and ENT. Anji. And it is not an easy subject. Mm -hmm. Difficult subject. We are exposed to the Ophthal. Se. So, or of course, eye is a very small thing and you mm. have to get adjusted to microscope to see. So, third year, mein, no one expects you to see clinically examine the patient. Mm. In internship or residency, you have to see where you can evaluate how you can evaluate kar paoge with a stereopsis 3D view. So, my advice in third year has to be you have to have a good academics. Right. And for that, 
बेसिक्स का होना बहुत ज़रूरी है बेसिक्स किसी भी सब्जेक्ट में लाइक सर्जरी भी हो कोई भी हो द बेसिक ऑफ अनाटमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो ऑफथल इज अ इन टोटो सब्जेक्ट हमारा ऑफथल में अनाटमी फिजियोलॉजी एम्ब्रोलॉजी हमारा अलग सी होता है सो आई ऑलवेज से स्टार्ट विद द वेरी वेरी बेसिक्स बेसिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन बेसिक अनाटमी बेसिक फिजियोलॉजी इसको आप अगर अच्छी तरह से पढ़ेंगे टेक्स्ट से पढ़ेंगे या आप नोट्स से आपको थोड़ा हेल्प मिल जाती है तो डैट विल क्रिएट अ बेस सो डैट यू कैन स्टेप अप क्लिनिकल थिंग एज यू गो ऑन इफ यू स्टार्टेड इफ यू स्टार्ट ऑन जम्पिंग ऑन टू द क्लिनिकल सिनारियोज स्टार्टिंग में ही कि मैं सिम्टम्स पहले पढ़ लूँ मैं पहले डायबिटिक रेटनोपैथी पढ़ लूँ और आपको रेटिना का नॉलेज बेसिक अनाटमी नहीं पता है एंड डैट इज नॉट अ गुड थिंग सो ऑलवेज एंड ऑलवेज फर्स्ट अनाटमी फिजियोलॉजी एम्ब्रोलॉजी ऑफ एनी एनी सब्जेक्ट whether obs gynec ho ya surgery I, I ho is agree. very 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 important i completely agree and i also agree to the fact that he said it ki hum sab na normal ko uh, bahut kam importance dete hain uh, but agar hum wo karte hain then you know we fail uh, as uh, as he said we, we fail in the very much basic evaluation of the patient the normal janna uh, bahut zaruri hai so that you are able to pick up when things go abnormal right yeah एंड अच्छा आपने पढ़ने की बात करी अकेडमिकली स्ट्रॉन्ग होने की बात करी एंड हमेशा एज जब हम भी थे तो मन करता था कोई भी एक छोटी किताब ले लें इंडियन ऑथर ले लें जो आसानी से पढ़ी जाए और बस प्रॉफ के लिए पढ़ लें है ना तो आपका क्या सजेशन है डॉक्टर सौरभ वॉट वुड बी अ गुड बुक्स टू स्टडी ऑफ फिल्मोलॉजी फ्राम एंड आप लोग जब नोट्स बनाते हैं तो आई एम श्योर आप बहुत सारी चीज़ों को रेफर करते होंगे उनका कंसाइज मटीरियल अरेंज करते होंगे और कॉन्सेप्ट पे फोकस करते होंगे तो क्या आप दोनों बातों को इंटीग्रेट करके हमें बता सकते हैं सो फर्स्ट फॉरमोस्ट थिंग यू हैव टू चूज वन सोर्स वन सोर्स वन बुक इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बहुत सारे सोर्सेज से बहुत सारे बुक से पढ़ना इज नॉट एडवाइजेबल वट एवर सोर्स यू चूज एवरी एवरी सोर्स इज ओके देर गिविंग इन्फॉर्मेशन बट हैज़ टू बी कंसाइज इन्फॉर्मेशन जितना आपको चाहिए थर्ड ईयर में और कितना आपको चाहिए नीट पी जी के एग्जाम के लिए सो फॉर दैट द स्टैंडर्ड गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड बुक फॉर थर्ड ईयर आई ऑलवेज एडवाइज दैट टू बुक्स वन इज पासन्स एंड खुराना खुराना इज ए एक्सटेंसिव बुक अगर आप खुराना में प्रॉफ में लिखने के लिए ईजी हो जाता है पार्सन्स इनिशियली समझने में मुश्किल है बट खुराना भी और पार्सन आप सिर्फ स्ट्रेट अवे आप पढ़ना स्टार्ट कर जाओगे थोड़ा मुश्किल होगा तो आई ऑलवेज एडवाइज इफ़ यू आर अटेंडिंग द क्लास यू गो विद नोट्स एक बार आप नोट्स कम से कम एनाटमी फिजियोलॉजी जैसे मैंने बताया उसको आप पढ़ के आप थ्योरी बुक पढ़ेंगे पार्सन्स देन यू विल स्टार्ट ग्रेजुअली हैविंग एन आइडिया वट इज़ गोइंग ऑन द आई और उससे आप बिल्डअप कर सकते हैं सो माई एडवाइज फर्स्ट नोट्स से आप जस्ट गो थ्रू एक रीडिंग करेंगे उससे यू विल गेट एन आइडिया कि थ्योरी में आपको क्या पढ़ना है क्या नहीं पढ़ना है खुराना बुक इज़ अ गुड बुक बट बहुत सारे एक्सटेंसिव उसमें चीज़ें दी हुई हैं तो आप नोट से ये पता लग जाता है कि कौन सी चीज़ हमें अवॉइड करनी है क्रिस कंसाइज स्टडी इज़ अ वन अगर आपका अप्रोच नीट पी जी है ऑफकोर्स थर्ड ईयर में प्रॉफ एग्जाम के लिए hmm. खुराना बुक से लिखने में ईजी uh, हो जाता है बट अगेन आप नोट्स करके आप खुराना पढ़ेंगे तो आपको पता लग जाएगा क्या चीज़ हमें नहीं पढ़नी है एंड दैट विल भी बहुत ज़्यादा एडवांटेज मिलेगा उस चीज़ से आई थिंक ये बहुत ही वाइटल पॉइंट है बिकॉज अगर आप सी अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स आई एम श्योर आप मुझसे अग्री करोगे डॉक्टर सौरभ कि जब हम एक टेक्स्ट बुक शुरू करते हैं द लैंग्वेज इट सेल्फ इज नॉट एन ईजी लैंग्वेज द सेंटेंसेज आर फ्रेम्ड इन सच अ वे कि आपको एक पैराग्राफ पढ़ के एक लाइन समझ आती है सो द एडवांटेजेस कि जब आप नोट्स uh, अपने प्रोफेसर uh, से ले रहे हैं uh, जिसे सर देते हैं तो uh, उनको गो थ्रू करने के बाद आप टेक्स्ट बुक को भी एट अ फास्टर पेस निकाल सकते हो एंड एज ही वेरी राइटली सेट द फिल्टरिंग प्रोसेस बिकम्स इजी कि भाई मुझे कितना मस्ट नो है कितना मुझे एग्जाम के लिए चाहिए कितना मुझे नीट पी के लिए चाहिए एंड yes. अगर एक वो क्लैरिटी आ जाती है कि कितने कितने डेप्थ तक हर टॉपिक में जाना आई थिंक दैट इज Uh, I won't say half of the job done. That's actually 90% of the job done. है ना बाकी 10% obviously you have to repeatedly revise, recall. वो सब तो करना ही है. But third year में मुझे लगता है अगर आप जैसे सर ने बोला वो diligently शुरू कर दें तो you're halfway down for your NEET PG exam also while you're preparing for your profs. है yeah. ना? So अब क्योंकि NEET PG की बात निकली है रॉक सॉरब. I will I will add one more point. हाँ जी हाँ जी please. Now this time we are coming up with the GAMS workbook. and uh, i have made the dams workbook on the basis of parsons wow. to agar aap parsons padhna chahte hain that's a gold standard book and if you do the workbook based on parsons and then read the parsons 
I won't say 100%, but 70-80% Parsons will be completed and you will better understand after the workbook and the Parsons. You will be through great. with the prof exam and of course me PG Kali bhi, that will be more than sufficient. That's wonderful. I think uh, this workbook concept is uh, excellent and uh, let me tell you that Dr. Saurabh's concepts are very crystal clear or amazing. Hote so whenever you know, I have to ask something about I, he <laughs> is my go-to person. Uh, that's the kind of trust we mujhe, have. I have to read many Parsons dubara padi hai abhi. to make sure, my workbook sure. based on that. I have to read through and through. Sari Parsons padi and on basis basis I have made that workbook this that's, time. That's that's what I said. He is academically very, very sound. He is clinically very, very sound. And he is a very, very humble teacher as well. So, uh, Dr. Saurabh, tell me, when you are preparing for NEET PG, what uh, you know, are you going to tell me about the ophthalmology? Ke bare mein batana ki, these, these, these topics are must-knows, or these things are in more depth. Mein. Anything of that sort that you would like so to So, after third year, for NEET PG preparation in my subject, I go with the threes. Three C's, crisp, concise concepts that notes help you in getting that. Mm. Three S, smart, selective study. Right. And then after the, if you are into the PG preparation internship, three P's are very important. Patience, perseverance and practice. The more you practice so MCQs, nice after that, use, after your regular notes or workbook, MCQs, grand test, patience, Practice, perseverance, it should be the key of uh, need PG preparation. So, three C's, three S, and three P's from my side. Great. Achha, Dr. Saurabh, because you were talking about it, so my mind was going. That MCQ practice, how do you suggest that you start third year wale student to start it? Because the final exam yes. MCQ format will be in MCQ format. Yeah. Right? So, subject-wise, uh, MCQ should be started with the notes. You have given in DQB, mein, we have given uh, subject-wise, topic-wise. So, when you do a topic, you do the MCQs of uh, that topic there and then. If you think that it is a little bit different, you can add it in notes and do it once. And that you do topic wise, when you do with the notes. After you complete with the notes, uh, giving a complete test, grand test, which includes every subject mm -hmm. is also very important. The more, I think the earlier you start to give grand test, the better it is. But subject wise, uh, MCQ should be started in Ophthal in third year as well, in third year, say start okay. one of And uska fayda ye hai ki DQB, the GOAT edition that we have now, yeah. Dr. Saurabh has also done the videos on yeah. it. So anything that you want to comment a little upon that? Yeah, I got many uh, students have said that initially uh, DQB mein jai tha, to hume explanation padna padta tha, mm. question karke. Now is that, uh, just we see and whatever explanation we need, jo humare question wrong hai, usko video up play karo and 30-40 seconds you get an explanation, quick explanation of that. Even long jo questions hai, clinical vignettes, ki, usko aap, uh, kaise, uh, 30 or to 1 minute explanation agar padoge, so that remain in your uh, mind if you are uh, listening to explanation rather than reading them. So, a quick revision bhi ho jayega aapke, uh, notes ka bhi, uh, MCQ format mein with a video explanation. Great. Achha, ho sakta hai, hume abhi koi currently, uh, jin bachon ne need PG dena hai, wo bhi sun rahe ho. So, uh, let's quickly ask you, कि अगर डॉक्टर सौरभ हमको पांच या छह ऐसे टॉपिक बताने हों जो आपकी तरफ से प्रिडिक्टर्स हों फॉर अपकमिंग नीट पीजी तो वो क्या होंगे डायबिटिक रेटिनोपैथी वन ग्लाकोमा ओपन एंगल क्लोज्ड एंगल डेफिनेशंस एंड ट्रीटमेंट मैनेजमेंट टू थर्ड स्ट्रेबिस्मस थर्ड ना पाल्सीज पैरेटिक्स क्वीन थर्ड फोर सिक्स ना पाल्सी थ्री टोसिस कंजेनिटल टोसिस फोर्थ कंजेनिटल ग्लाकोमा फाइव जस्ट फॉर द आई मीन बेसिक अ विजुअल फील्ड एग्जाम विजुअल फील्ड इंटरप्रिटेशन Neurophthal mein jo visual field interpretation hai, that is also very important. So if you are listening to this, please ensure these topics are on your tips, right? Perfect. Achha, uh, Dr. Saurabh, and I must, must tell my listeners that Dr. Saurabh has one of the leading postgraduate theory master class uh, that he's doing and uh, he's done a fantabulous job uh, there. He's, he's himself very hardworking. So mujhe, why don't you tell something about your own uh, masterclass? <laughs> that was a difficult thing. As I said in the workbook uh, for the UG, uh, for the NEET PG, I have to study Parsons again to make the workbook. And for the residence class, it was not an easy job. I mean, I have to read my entire residency. I think again. double the <laughs> effort of my residency again to start the uh, residency class uh, for the post-graduation residence, MD, MS, MD, NB. So it was a difficult job. 
we started uh, but it has been going good it has been um, he's being and, modest and that, it's going that, very good <laughs> <laughs> and that is based on primarily uh, like in ug i said parsons is a gold standard in pg there are many books of course specialty wise but kanski is the one which should be okay. one gold standard book as a basis uske baad as i say this is this residency course will give you a base और उसके बाद तो दुनिया आपकी है आप कितना पढ़ना चाहें एवरी स्पेशलिटी इज़ अ डिफरेंट बुक कॉर्निया हैज क्रैकमर ग्लॉकमा एज शील्ड दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन यू कैपेबिलिटी कई लोग सिर्फ कांस्की एंड रेजिडेंसी कोर्स और इवन रेजिडेंसी कोर्स करके ही दे हैव टोल्ड मी दैट दे हैव बी डूइंग वेरी वेल इन द एमडीएम वी कीप सीइंग द मैसेजेस ऑन सोशल मीडिया एंड आई एम आई देयर इज अ ग्रेट रिस्पांस अच्छा डॉक्टर सौरभ मैं बस ये पूछना चाहूंगी उसमें द मोमेंट द स्टूडेंट एनरोल्स एंड यू कैन एनरोल डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द ईमेडिकोस ऐप they get a series of video lectures if yes. i'm right yes, and yes, yes. Uh, you keep intermittently doing some classes live yes, yes, as well yes of course yes i i have a whatsapp uh, group and i uh, in the emedicos also we inform whenever the live classes are there whatever classes has been done you get in a recorded version in the emedicos app and i have given a, a specialty wise and topic wise in each specialty like cornea i have given anatomy as a separate small video then physiology so that whenever in a resident a first year resident want to see he can see the anatomy physiology a second year want to see any clinical thing keratoconus he saw in the clinic he can come and see the keratoconus 25 minutes video same for the third year if he wants to have a complete uh, revision before the exams he can see whatever topics he need to have and uh, and uh, for people who are giving at foreign exams like fsc s f i c o i mean i i have some experience in that i have given them those exams so i have uh, some uh, things on those bases as well uh in my residency course super that looks very extensive and very thorough ab bahut ho gayi boring baatein dr saurabh ab mujhe do interesting cheeze batao pehla to mujhe ye batao any life changing moment that you have experienced so far <laughs> <laughs> academically or non academically non academically of course i mean the birth of my baby Ah. is a changing for me just 10 days back i mean wow, that means, so that is one so heartiest congratulations dr saurabh and that Thank truly you, is not just life changing i would say it is life transforming yeah so you know uh, it's very very special and indeed it is some it is an event in your life that you cannot compare anything else okay. with so congratulations once again and the second question dr saurabh looks to be a very serious and a very very gentle man so tell me one interesting thing other than padhai likhai that dr saurabh does It's what is your hobby in the class you i mean those who have attended my class they know i'm a jolly good thing in the class and <laughs> off the class i am a different person in the class i am a different person thoda ha ah, do avtar <laughs> great so I, that means i have to attend your class without, without fun i don't I like to teach if you don't so, have fun so so please I'm, remember he looks very serious and gentleman but he's going to make your class super duper exciting and i think try to make. Ab, i'm going to try and attend one of your classes now <laughs> sure. great so it was a pleasure having you here <laughs> sora and i'm sure that uh, uh, you know with your information and with your knowledge you are going to touch so many lives and thank you, uh, that's absolutely wonderful so thank you thank so you. much thank you everyone. for being thank a you. part of us and it was a pleasure to be here with you thank you aur isse pehle ki we say goodbye to our listeners hum dams mein hamesha kehte hain apna time apun khud laega